I've got a really quick um, up close video for you today looking at the brand new colours of Iridescent Mirror Card from Tonic. So you might remember um, in the Dreaming Colour colour trend that came out at the beginning of 2019 we had this card stock that was called Hollow Waves and it was silver but has that rainbow reflectiveness to it and then um, at the beginning of this year, 2020, we had the Inca Gold version, which is just a, a gold version of the, the silver. Um, really, really gorgeous. Well, oh, and you might have also, if you got kit number 33 of the Tonic Craft Kit, you will have had one sheet of Marina Mist as well, uh, which is also um, in this bundle that I'm just going to show you. Um, well, now there are um, six more colours. Yeah, six colours, including that Marina Mist, which I have already showed in the unboxing of the Tonic Craft Kit number 33. So, um, I really do love this gorgeous rainbow style of card. I think it's just because um, it's so subtle. It's not like in-your-face rainbow. Not You don't see the rainbow at every angle that you hold the card, basically. So, from the angle I'm sitting at now, this just looks like a piece of kind of a, a dusky plum mirror card but for if I look in the camera what you can see you can see a giant rainbow reflecting off of that so from different angles you see different things look at that rainbow that's reflecting there it's really but I can't see that from my angle looking at the piece of card I can't see that but if I look at the, what you're seeing in the camera you can see it so um that is the kind oh no you're just going to see me in it aren't you the reflection Okay, it's kind of difficult to show you the actual purple colour of it without just showing your reflection of the camera and stuff. Um, that's really difficult to show you. But anyway, this one is a, a light um, pinky, dusky pinky colour, and it's called Petal Pink, um, hence the sort of pinky purpley tinge to it. You can literally just see the rainbow in the camera. I'm not sure why that is, but you can kind of... Yeah, there we go, that's kind of the colour. I'm not sure if that's coming across because my camera doesn't like purple and pink anyway. But that is the first colour, petal pink. Then we have firestone red, which is a really gorgeous, rich and vibrant red. And the rainbow in that, it doesn't seem quite as intense on the camera. It is more of just the, the warm tones in a rainbow, which is really lovely. I've, I've really enjoyed this one, actually. You can see I've used quite a bit of the piece of card. But that is the firestone red. Then this is a gorgeous deep plum. Again, I'm not sure if that's going to come across. That's just about kind of the colour of it. But this one again has got a really nice strong rainbow in it as well. But that's the gorgeous plum colour. Purple, a purple rain this one's called. Really gorgeous deep plummy colour. Then we also have this one which you have seen in the Tonic Craft Kit 33 unboxing which is a gorgeous blue tone. This one's called Marina Mist. It's kind of a a lighter, it's lighter blue with maybe more of a, a silvery tint to it. Obviously you get that proper rainbow in it as well, but when you can actually see the proper colour of it without the rainbow, um, it is sort of like silvery toned blue. Then we also have another blue, which is stunning, called Tidal Wave. And this is like a much deeper blue. I don't know if it's that evident as it's diff like that it's different from this one. You kind of have to get that angle where you can just see the colour rather than the rainbow. But it is this one is a deep yeah that you can kind of see it there. It is a deeper blue than the first one. And then the final colour, which again I really enjoyed this one. I think incorporating uh, this one and the Firestone, uh, yeah Firestone. Um, in Christmas cards would be really really lovely and this one is called sea foam green which is a gorgeous like almost olivey kind of green colour really pretty so I'm sorry you can't really see the the true kind of colour on camera it just seems to want to pick up the rainbow more than the actual colour but um I'm sure on the tonic website they'll have managed to um, photograph it better so you can actually tell exactly what the colour looks like. Um, but I, I've just made four cards with the cardstock, which is why I wanted to do this little really quick um, up-close video just to show you some ways of using it. Um, and I haven't used any other cardstock other than white card. I've just been using 
the um, iridescent mirror cardstock because just to really show off the different colours and everything. But look at that gorgeous, like how subtle it looks. Like when you have a big piece of it, it is a bit in your face load of rainbow. But as soon as you die cut it into more finer detail, look how gorgeous that looks. And with all the different colours as well, you've got the green tone here. I think I used two tones of the blue actually. This is the darker blue, this is the lighter blue. Then I've also used the pink and the purple on this one. So this has got five of the colours on it. But they... um. Like they, they all coordinate with one another, even though they're all um, bright, kind of, well, all kind of mirror cardy ones that you might usually use uh, like sparingly. Even having five colours on the card because they've all got that rainbow effect, they all still go together. And you tilt the card and you see another colour in the different colours. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, it's not too much. It doesn't seem too much, even though you've used white card and five different mirror cards it doesn't seem too overwhelming really so I really like how this card turned out and I've used some of the pure sheen crystal gems in the centres of these flowers as well um, die wise this big leaf is from the peekaboo die set which is an interactive pop-up card die set and the flowers butterflies foliage and congratulations are all from one of the new um, easel card die sets so I'll make sure to link them below as well so that's the first card then um, I also did this one making my own um, like piece of paper using loads of scraps together the way I do this is I take a piece of um, printer paper cover it with double sided adhesive you could either use the um, craft perfect double sided adhesive sheets that they do or um, I just got one of these massive rolls of it so I've always got it next to me um, either work you know just as well but when you're doing this kind of thing it's better to use um, a big wide double sided adhesive that can completely cover the piece of paper so if you decided after you'd made this that you wanted to die cut an aperture into it um, nothing would fall off whereas if you had just used glue to stick these down and you hadn't quite got glue over everything and then you decided to cut an aperture in it bits would fall off but using the double sided adhesive sheet all the way across it um, makes everything stay really nicely and then um, for this card for the background I use the two different blues and the green and you can actually see nicely there the variation between the two different blues so they are um, quite different to each other really um, if you saw one sheet and then the other sheet you might not notice a difference but seeing these strips next to each other and the two different colours you can actually tell the difference um, I really love that the rainbow that you're seeing in the camera from reflecting off of it and you see the rainbow is actually the red of the rainbow is stronger in the green as well so it gives a, a different look too anyway I'm getting mesmerized by the the iridescence of the card um, for this yeah so for this one I um, did that background and then I decided to just um, take one of the tonic scoring tools that come in the flower make or the flower shaping kit um, and I just used the scoring board and scored one and a half centimetres in from each edge of the piece that I trimmed down um, just to create a sort of dip so that the light reflected slightly differently because this is highly reflective and iridescent and everything um, any kind of um, grooves in the cardstock or even an embossing folder would look fabulous I didn't even think of doing an embossing folder um, but that would look fabulous too because it, it changes the angles on the card so it really gives you um, more impact with that reflection as well um, then I just did a little scattering of butterflies which is that same little butterfly from one of the easel um, die sets I think it's the round easel um, but I'll make sure it's linked below and then the sentiment here is because everyone needs friends and this is from the 3D box frame die sets I can't remember if I did a video on them I, I actually can't remember I filmed so much recently I can't remember um, but uh, I'll make sure the, the set is linked below I think this was in the extra add-on set there's a set that creates the rectangular box and then one that creates the square one and then there's also an add-on set with a different patterned panel to go in the rectangular one and I think this sentiment was out of um, that die set um, so I've just stacked two white ones and then I decided that I needed the 
the green on there as well so I kind of offset it so you can see the white a little bit as well and then I just used um, a white paint pen to draw over the top of it so that it definitely wouldn't smudge and I was using um, this Uni, Uni Ball Posca yeah it is by Uni Ball isn't it yeah um, the Posca one this is the PC1MR which is the really thin 0.7mm uh, um, I really, I've really been enjoying this, and I bought the black one as well. They're really great for this kind of thing. They don't seem to skip like a white gel pen would. Uh, so that's the second card. Then I did this one, um, which is in a similar way to creating this kind of a background, I decided to cut um, one and a half centimetre squares. So you can see in the background behind that flower pattern, which the actual flower pattern and the sentiment are both from the. Uh, memory satchel die set um, which I did do a video on no I didn't do a video on that no I didn't because um, I ran out of time but it's from that die set so you get this gorgeous uh, patterned panel which you can use to decorate the, the memory satchel but I, I really like it as a patterned panel for a card and I thought it would go really nicely um, on top of this background that I'd done so I used the pink, the purple and the red I cut um, strips from the piece of card to one and a half centimetres and then put them back into my guillotine and cut them into one and a half centimetre squares they're not perfect um, and I've got a little piece that I've started here you can see they don't go together absolutely perfectly there are little gaps between if you go really close there are little gaps between them because um, obviously when you're using a, a guillotine it's never exactly accurate every single time because it depends if you line up exactly over the line or just before or just after it um, but you can't tell like once you've put that pattern over the top and because of the rainbow reflecting behind it it's really difficult to tell um, so I thought it would make a really cool background and then having the the pattern over the top and then the strip down the side was just um, same idea as this background piece but obviously just doing it in a smaller amount and just those little strips and then I scored um, half a centimetre um, or skipping one and you know stuff just to make a, a cool little um, panel for down the edge and again it's just to adding the scoring in it is just to make it catch the light even more um, and give a little bit more um, interest not that it really needs it but um, I think it looks really nice and then I've just mounted up the love and hug sentiment in that bottom corner and then the final one that I've done um, is using pink red and blue together um, really really simple this one just using lots of different hearts and using the cardstock in bigger sections so you really do get that that proper rainbow look if you use them um in sort of bigger die cuts like these um the everything on here except the little hearts so all the big hearts and the words are all from the heart easel um, create a die set and in the background I did just add a little bit of score detail as well so it wasn't just completely white um, and then I just matted it with another piece of the blue obviously I gutted out the middle um, you can't waste all of that gorgeous mirror card behind there but yeah that's the final card that I've done so while I had them here I just wanted to do one of my up close videos so that you got a few ideas of how to use this really stunning um, iridescent mirror card I really love working with this. I actually only started these uh, yesterday evening and I've already finished them all because I was, I just couldn't stop. I couldn't stop die cutting all the gorgeous bits and pieces. So um, I hope you enjoyed this up close video and I will see you again in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.